everyone, and welcome to Adapted, episode 71, the podcast where we talk all things Adapted. My name's Tristan. Joining me this week, we've got Jason and Sweener. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. We're better now that we're past the uh, we're past Batman vs Superman. We're past the controversial Walking Dead finale. I feel like everybody's like we'll happy never be now. past that Batman vs. Yeah, no, we won't. But I feel like we're all in a good place now. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next week. Well, we said goodbye to the Walking Dead last week. And they're not wasting any time. They're getting right back into it on their spinoff, Fear the Walking Dead. And we got the first episode this week of the new season. Uh, as they transition to vine life, to life on the water. <laughs> and before they even get on the water, kind of confusing beginning of the episode for me at least. Because there's, it didn't seem like a lot of time passed. And then all of a sudden there's just like, fires and explosions everywhere i was so confused i thought they were getting i thought they were getting more, I, like shelled by mortars for a hot i'm second. assuming it's because they the military by mortars the military bombed them right That's yes from? okay yes but i thought it was like but other was people confusing. doing it yeah, i was dude, so at confused the end when they finally got on the boat didn't you see the jets taking off and just yeah. like carpet bombing everybody yeah yeah totally but for like a hot second there i was like are they i thought they were battling somebody and this was like a flash forward to like later in the season yeah it was a really confusing There's like story. random fires everywhere. Like, how did, what happened? And then, then I was like, oh yeah, the military is going to come in. Yeah, the military. It took me a while to rem- remember everyone's names until they finally said it. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> the the name should have popped up. I really truly remembered was Nick because he was so yeah. goddamn easy one. Oh, Nick is the greatest. I love Nick. He needs to change now, into a different outfit. the word for most annoying? Chris. Oh, the, the. His the, son. Travis's son. Yeah. Oh my God, that kid, that fucking. Because tell me this, when when Travis walks in there and that kid punches him in the face, you're like, okay, kid, okay, I'll give you that one, <laughs> fucking one. Next time. I think I actually said out loud, I was like, hit him back, and I was like, oh, why did I say that? I felt really bad dick about to it. Travis, the entire first. Season. Yeah, the kid is horrible. And now, like, I understand he lost his mother. And he wanted to bring her body with, which not a good idea with their current state of things. Yeah, they really shouldn't have done that. Like, why did they do that? Like, nothing good <laughs> was like going to come of that. He was kissing her on her bullet hole, dude. He's like, mm-hmm. you probably got infected. <laughs> I know. I, was just, I, don't know. I know she didn't turn, but yeah, it's still. She still got the blood in her. And then, uh, what's Madison's daughter's name? I don't know her name. All I know is... I, Alicia? Is that Alicia, yeah, yeah, Alicia. Alicia. Someone should have taken that radio from her. And beat her, her over the head with it? Throwing the radio in the water or something, because like, like, she's irresponsible. I like the whole concept of the radio and talking to someone that you don't know. They've done that in the Walking Dead comics, so it's usually a lot, a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Because it eventually leads to something cool. And I think this could lead to something cool, because those guys know where they are. Yeah. yeah, they're on a gunboat, dude. <laughs> yeah. They're coming. So yeah, we'll see how things go. But I don't think they're going to be on the water very long. They're going to. They're going to end up in like San Diego or something. Right, that's where Strand. Further right? ahead, I, that thing's going to eventually run out of gas. You know? Yeah, because those things, those things are gas guzzlers. Yeah, well, he said that it had a three thousand mile range on it. Yeah, maybe he should trade that thing in for a sailboat because that would be what they need in the situation. <laughs> but whatever. Probably. Dude, but I actually, I like old Strand, dude. He's like, the best. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty solid. I mean, there's still some mystery behind him. Like, we don't yeah, know that's kind why of he sp- wants to go down south to San Diego. Uh, gonna... I think that he said that he wanted to go down to San Diego because San Diego is where the, all the Mil- military bases yeah. and all that stuff. But the military people are killing everyone, so do you want to be by the military? I don't know. Yeah, that's why the dad was like, well, no, you don't really want to do that. <laughs> they had some experiences with the military last season. Yeah. It still seems like he's got something else up his sleeve besides that he's not telling anyone. And I don't know totally know where they're going to go with it. Hopefully it's a, cool, it's a cool reveal at some point. Because yeah. he's probably one of the coolest characters on the show. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like old Daniel is like the most irritating, like... Is that the Salazar guy, the old guy? Yeah, he's like the anti... Who's the dude who got his head chopped off by the governor? Uh, Herschel. Herschel. He's like the anti-Herschel. 
Yeah. He's kind of cool, though, because he's a torturer. With a shotgun, like, pointing at him. They're, like, 500 yards away, dude. Shotguns aren't even going to make it to those people. Why are you still pointing the rifle? Well, because it's, it's more of, like, a look at I got situation. <laughs> I got this gun. I'm an old man with a gun. And, you know, an old man with a gun has got an itchy trigger finger, so... I like him. He's like one of my favorites on the show. He's probably gonna really? be the first to die. I just like that he's got like he's a torturer and he's he's like kind of got like a little bit of crazy in him. If they did like a who's got to go off the boat, he's I'd toast. Vote Salazar off first. I'd vote his daughter off first. She annoys me. What's her Ophelia? Or something? Ophelia. Yeah. yeah, I don't like her at all. She'll Wait, go. She didn't really have many. Lines. She had like I know no she's part recovering. Of this entire first episode. And yeah, I didn't like her last season, and then I saw. I remember Other I saw her. Like, been wounded and she wanted to heal her and she said no and i was like no oh, fuck you die Dude, madison is just I, actually i might vote madison on yeah uh, there are I a lot madison of madison gone last characters year. that are kind of obnoxious i like when they're when they showed strand in the control room of the boat and he's got like this ai that was on the screen for uh, abigail and whatnot like logos and everything for his boat yeah i thought that was nice over the top for his yacht his That's yacht is cool. nice boat yeah if you're gonna be rich have a boat have a boat He's got like a tequila cash on that boat and everything. Oh, they look, yeah, they were drinking like some type of bourbon or something. They were drinking like a dark liquor. I was like, man, I'd savor that as long as you can. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah as you're fucking sucking down your eel, like, <laughs> terrible. But you got to give the old guy credit for that. He's catching eel. I was actually waiting until right now to ask you guys this. Like, that boat is going at a pretty good clip. Can you fish going at that speed? Uh, I don't know if they were doing their full twenty knots, but it felt like it was moving pretty heavy. And their their line then did they get to stop for that? No, 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 you just kind of hope to hook something as you're going, like oh, catch okay. it on the side no, of the they, they, can, they can swim and catch up to it. Like an eel? <laughs> I guess I don't know anything about electric eels. All I know is when he hit that thing with that club, that kid was like, "Ooh!" <laughs> like, welcome Good to your new you fucking life, son of a bitch. Yeah, this is your new world. Was cool. uh, so the. Coast Guard, they revealed, as they said over the radio, I believe, that they're not coming to rescue anyone. Like, Coast Guard's gone, more or less. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Coast Guard's kind of useless, as is, in real life. <laughs> well, Coast Guard's helpful, I would imagine. Mm, I don't know. They serve a purpose. Orders. <laughs> they serve a purpose. I mean, don't they, like, generally just... I've just offended everybody that likes the Coast Guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, don't... Def- I, like, I don't want to disparage the military, <laughs> but I thought they were just, like, there's, like, Red Cross kind of situation where they're just helping small things. Like, not going to help, like, well, a yeah, big situation. Well, yeah, they're not going to fight a war for us or anything, but they keep us safe. You know, they help with the war on drugs. Yeah, that war. Yeah, I guess. I got... Yeah, maybe I spoke ignorantly on the Coast Guard, but I don't think they're very valuable in a big war situation. I'll stand by that. So I'm sure they could have supplied relief if they did come provide some aid. Or food I mean, I don't know. I feel like the people from Katrina are pretty fucking thankful for the Coast Guard. Yeah. <laughs> You're back trying to back me into a corner. And I'm not. You know what? I'm not taking that because we're talking about like them like defending them, and I don't think they're gonna do defend. They're good at let's, like like I'm saying they're good at helpful helpful missions, and that's pretty much it. Let's, this let's is talk not a it. little bit about the water walkers, the wa- water zombies. Love them. Floaters? Confused by them, but I like Floaty. the idea. Let's call them floaters. <laughs> yeah, floaters are good. I was trying to figure out like how the... so one of them was doing the dead man float, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but we know how the land walkers work, and like if you smell like them, they won't know you're there. But in the water, like, how much do you even smell that they sense your presence? Or are they just reacting to noise? Or Probably a noise. I was thinking that it was all a noise situation. Like, I think on the water, it's really noisy. Like, their senses must be going crazy. Yeah, water. with, like, all the waves and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But do you really do you feel like if you're way out there, do you really have to worry about that? What happens to a shark when he eats a walker? Does he just turn into a walker? Wait, animals don't turn when they're bitten, right? Like, we haven't had a situation where we find we out. We haven't seen animals. Yeah, well, like, dude, imagine seen a eating walker them. shark. Holy Floating shit. Floating shark. You, you might get that. Don't say that. It wouldn't be in the water much longer. Zombie shark. Is there a, movie? <laughs> is, is there a zombie dude, shark movie? I feel like we need, I'm sure there is. I feel like we need to tweet that out, dude. Mine's cool. There's a zombie beaver movie. Zombie shark TV movie 2015. I have seen that zombie beaver movie. It was kind of funny. By that, I mean I fast-forwarded through it on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't mind. I don't mind. No, I, it's 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 different. It's so different to me that it's interesting to see them like visually. I think it's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, something different. Something you haven't seen before. I saw I it recently. See it when the... Nick chop that dude's head off in the prop. Mm-hmm. That was badass. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I there's there's like a lot to like potentially with this series. I feel like they're. I, they did a pretty decent job of building the characters in the first season. So once you remembered all the characters, you knew all their traits in this season. But they just everyone was just doing dumb shit over and over again, and it was just kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah. It's, I hope like they reined it in and we're streamlined some things. Like Strand is like kind of I don't know if he's, he's supposed to be a bad guy or what, but he's like my favorite character, and I just want him to like anybody that defies him. I just want him to shoot him in the face. It's like he said, "It's my boat." Yeah, he did my say rules. It's my boat. It's my boat. My boat. And he did say that the only thing that's going to happen when this boat stops is people are going to get off it. Yeah, he should have made an example of somebody when <sighs> when they started trying to defy him. Like when that kid jumped off, he should have just said, "We're going the other way." I know, but the problem is this: is that he's one against many, and he does have to sleep. True. He's trying to. He's trying to make. He's trying to make friends by. I don't know. And I would hope that. I were, that he would have like a little um uh god why can't I think of the guy from Iron Man Tony Stark oh, a little Tony Stark and a little biometrics boat can only start like with maybe his fingerprints or something like that mm, that's interesting because I didn't once think they of that. learn how to use the boat dude I mean like really I'm th- what are we talking about what do we really need strand for hmm. that is true I think being on the water is going to be more dangerous than being on land because anyone else that has a boat are going to go after other boats and take pirates. Their resource, yeah, pirates. There's yeah, it's like he said. He said, it, do you, "If things were that way on land, do you think anything's going to be different on water?" I'll tell you the first thing that's going to happen, dude. All those Somalian boat pirates are going to cruise up to the USA, dude, and just start picking off all the fucking cool tech, right? Like they're going to take all the rich people out in their boats. That's what I oh, would do. You want to know why? Why? Coast Guard. <laughs> we'll give you this box of crackers if you don't kill these Americans. Like, okay, we don't have any food. I still think that uh, they're gonna have to follow Strand's direction one way or the other. Like, they already had to. They pretty much had to when they found that boat of survivors that really Madison wanted them, wanted them to stop and whatnot. But yeah, like, you know, nope, it's still like, moving. I give Travis credit because he was like, "Dude, I see the big picture." Yeah, yeah that was that was smart. Which he usually is never like that. No, He's no. not a big picture guy. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna be really upset if they turn on Strand and kill him, like or like turn against him and take his boat or do something weird and leave him stranded. That would really piss me off. Well, for surviving purposes, I don't. He's like the best one that's capable of surviving because he can. He knows how to talk to himself out of situations. It seems. Oh, I feel like him and Nick are the best at surviving right now. Yeah. Well, yeah, because Nick is a drug recovering drug addict, and yeah. He, Right. Nick's the best. <laughs> Little baby Edward says her hands. He's so you great. Know, I thought it was really amazing. It was amazing that all those people got on that boat and nobody has gotten motion sickness. Yeah, they're from California. You go on boats all the time in the West. I never get motion sickness when I'm on a boat. Oh, I'd be puking all over. At the least place. one of them should have gotten motion sickness, probably. Right. Maybe Ophelia's got motion sickness. Yeah, maybe that's why we'll, they haven't we'll shown her. Explore that in episode she's two. She's recovering from a boat wound and she's motion sick. <laughs> Possible. So, in this episode, the first episode of Fear the Walking Dead, season two, what are you guys going to be scoring it? Uh, I'm going to go with a three. Okay. I'm a solid three, too. I, uh, you know, yeah, it's ups and downs last season. I wasn't really overwhelmingly excited about it. I still had a bitter taste of uh, Walking Dead season finale in me, but... Uh, I wasn't like, oh my god, this is so great! I can't wait for you know the rest of the season to go. But I was like, man, eh, my interest is solid. Solid three. Yeah, it's a good show. I'm going to three as well. After some rougher episodes with The Walking Dead, I, it's a good change of pace for me. Something different, different scenery, and they're in a totally different situation. So it's we'll see how far it goes. It's going to be a long season. I'm sure you're going to yeah. up to you. But... I will think that the thing that is irritating is that they're not going to tell us the origins of the virus. Right. That's Which we kind of thought we were going to get to see, but I don't think. Yeah. It's too late I now. 
I mean, they're never going to reveal it in the comic book. I, I don't think they're ever going to reveal it, really. Maybe it, 20 years from later, Kirkman brings out another comic book or a book or a new show and like, yeah, yeah, I'll we'll explain how the whole virus started. Maybe just to cash in some money. But, yeah. Old man Kirkman cashing it in at the end. I like it. 